What you'll need is some base coat. This is the Nails Be Long Lengthener from Jordana. You'll need a white base coat. I'm using one from China Glaze, white on white. A blue or blue-ish uh, striper. This is a pop art one from Georgiana. A green uh, striper. This is a Georgiana pop art. You'll need a pink. You can use any shade of pink. This is from Wet n Wild. Uh, the Megalos Collection uh, Candylicious. You'll need some sort of orange polish. This is from Hot Designs, and you'll also need a quick shine dot coat. And also some cuticle oil for after. So first thing you want to do is first take your base coat. Next thing you want to do is take your white uh, base and just apply that to your nails. One or two coats should be good enough. Here I am just applying a second coat to only a couple of my nails that I think that really needed the uh, second white coat. For this blue flower you'll need your blue striper and just draw petals with your striper or with a finer uh, brush. That's all right too. Now you'll be taking your pink nail polish and I'm just taking a regular paintbrush that I am using. You can really use any sort of brush and I am just putting this on the blue and kind of mixing it in, in a sense. Now I'm taking my green striper and adding some leaves. Add these anywhere you like. For the grass or vines, you'll need your blue uh, striper, or you don't even have to use this, but this is just what I'm doing. And just draw some random lines. Doesn't matter how thick or thin they are. Taking your green striper and going on top of the blue. Trying to cover up the blue as much as possible if you even used the blue. If you didn't, that is completely alright. For the leaf, you will only need your um, green striper. And just draw kind of like that, just in a leaf shape. I don't really know how to describe it besides that. And just draw the outlining. Color it in. and make the stem. You want to make the inside as light as possible. Now I am just pretty much filling it in with the lines. And once your leaf is dried with that, then do what I just did. <laughs> For the pink flower, you just want to take your um, paintbrush or whatever you're using and take your pink nail polish and just create those types of leaves, quote, leaves. <laughs> if you need to adjust um, your petals, then go right ahead, just like I'm doing. 
always remember that there are no rules to either makeup or nail art, so go or whatever you want to do. Now you're taking your orange and just doing exactly like what you did with your blue flower, but just put the orange where the pink was in this case. You don't want to put too much and overflow the petals. And now I am just trying to blend it in, um, blend the orange and the pink together. If you can't do it, then you can't do it, but if you can, then try your best like I'm doing here. But it's all your personal preference, so whatever you like, then go right ahead. Now I'm taking the green striper and doing up some leaves. And oops, I put a bit too much there. So these are the designs. Now you want to take your top coat and apply that. Be sure to try not to uh, smear your designs because you don't want to ruin your nail art, do you? I don't think you would. If you want to clean up, then go right ahead. I didn't really need to, so I didn't bother. Ooh, so shiny. Now I'm taking my SE apricot uh, da, 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 cuticle oil. <laughs> Couldn't find the words there. And I am just, as you can tell, putting this on my cuticles and yeah. These are the designs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs this video up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye!